Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon readings. Okay, so towards the end of this uh, video, you will be able to get some information on what to expect with this Aquarius full moon. But right now, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you continue to give our channel. Okay, you can apply this reading today and this is a very mini reading, you guys, you understand very many reading the only reason we do these readings is to give you an idea of where to set your intentions so if you don't know how to set your intentions look below okay there's a link right there and it'll explain everything all the steps in setting your intention for this full moon energy okay so you can apply this to your sun your moon your rising and for some even your venus sign once again um so it's so important to use this energy this information that's going to be coming forth today in these decks because spirit is kind of getting you to hone in on those energies and those situations that you kind of need to deal with all right so make sure you do that um it's so important to use that energy so once again if you're on instagram okay Please follow us at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget we have the Lotus Love Show every Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So meet us right back here. Uh, if you have not already, check out your Twin Flame Soulmate readings for August. We have completed those. And there are extendeds that go along with that. If you're a member of our Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants for one low price. If you're not interested in the Patreon membership, then there is an extended link that's below each one of those readings as well. Okay? I think that's all I need to tell you guys. So remember, once again, this is a mini reading. And if you want information about this Aquarius full moon, just let your reading play a little further and we'll have that towards the end of the reading the mini reading okay all right my loves now on to your reading hello my taurus okay you guys let's get right into your mini reading for the full moon to see what energies are coming forth so you can set your intentions holy spirit divine creator universe what messages need to go forth for the sign of taurus as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on august 3rd 2020 what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Whoa. All right, that was a powerful one there. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, divine the of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Taurus needs to know. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Oh my goodness, a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Taurus, you need to know a lot. My gracious, goodness gracious. All right. So let's get these straight over here because you guys know I am anal about the cards not being in order. All right. Here we go. First card out. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Could be dealing with a karmic situation here. Could be dealing with a twin flame. Could be dealing with an ex. Okay. 
could be dealing with someone that has um, is coming back from the past. All right. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy create miracles and manifestation. Generally, when a playtime card comes out, you're dealing with a serious situation. You're dealing with something I won't say to stressing you. Uh, some of you could be a stressful situation, but spirit is reminding you to relax. You need to really put a focus on doing something that's going to calm you, whether it's listening to soft music, with a glass of wine, taking a bubble bath, going to a dip in the pool. You need to do something relaxing, okay, to kind of ease that, that stress that's on you. So if you got time, you need to make time. If you don't have time, you need to make time to do that. That's so important. Okay, the person you're asking about is trustworthy. All right, so with this past life, this past ex, this, whatever this past karmic situation is, or whoever you're thinking about, the person is trustworthy. Whoever you're second guessing, if they can be trusted. Um, and it could have been a very bad situation that you had with someone. Um, Spirit is saying that where they are right now, maybe the words that they may speak to you, that they can be trusted. Okay, patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So I feel like it deals with this person that um, you're asking about that this uh, is if they're trustworthy or not. You're going to need to have extreme patience with this person. I feel like there's a situation that is quite sensitive that's kind of unfolding. And they may be, you know, being asked to do some things that they're, that's making them feel very uncomfortable. Okay, that's making them really feel uncomfortable. So um, be patient with them. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So you may be saying goodbye to this person. You may be saying, you know, putting a period behind a situation for the final time. I feel like there's a cycle that's ending. There is a cycle that's ending with someone, a period is being put on it. I feel like there's some more energy that needs to take place for that period to be put on this situation, but a cycle is definitely ending um, here, okay? And so whatever needs to take place for the cycle to end, please do it. Um, spirit is saying no. So no, no not no, uh, don't end the cycle. I feel like Spirit is saying no, let the cycle end. No, it's time, whatever you were trying to do to hold on to that situation, to hold on to that mindset, to hold on to that energy, Spirit is saying no. No to that. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. See, yeah, you have to forgive. Forgiveness, okay? This is what has to take place. So this no is definitely meaning do not hold on to this energy. You have to forgive. Whether it's you forgiving, um, asking for an apology, or accepting the apology. But some type of movement needs to happen so healing can take place, okay? And so... You need to just wait. This person may be moving in your direction um, to do this. So don't be so hasty as far as like calling them saying, well, I, you know, I want this to be over with. Don't do that. Just wait and let everything unfold naturally because this person may be coming in your midst, okay? So don't be too hasty in your movement because I feel like this forgiveness here is a very sensitive situation. So just wait and hear guidance from spirit on how you need to move out on that on that situation, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading in regards to this, um, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye. Okay, my loves, just a little information about this Aquarius full moon that's going to be coming through today on August 3rd. Um, first of all, understand that Aquarius is the sign of visionary, okay, of visions and being a visionary. It is a fixed sign and it is an air sign, okay? Um, it kind of focuses on freedom, um, revolution, um, change. Um, Aquarius energy, it also focuses on the collective, okay, um, roles within friendships, uh, social groups, and our communities at large. So whatever community that you're in, whatever friendships that you're in, whatever whatever social groups that you're in, this full moon is going to kind of put an emphasis on that, okay? Um, this full moon is going to encourage us to better balance our hearts, 
um, with our minds and release anything that's no longer serving serving our highest good, okay? It's going to make us release things that are not serving us. And full moon energy, what it kind of, it, it, what it does, is it, it kind of illuminates those energies, okay? It kind of illuminates those situations in our mind. And it begins to help us unravel and understand some of the parts of ourselves you know that fit into this kind of framework it kind of gives us more clarity um, than before and that's what happens with that full moon energy we begin to see things a little bit more clear um get have a little bit more intense intense understanding and so as you're going through this full moon energy make sure you're la allowing the full moon energy to work for you and not against you because once again it can be a very intense energy, but it's so important that we begin to hone in on those specific areas that I talked about because, again, with this, with it being in the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign that kind of focuses more so on the collective, more so on the community, more so on friendships, okay? And so that's where your focus is going to kind of be for um, this full moon energy. All right, my loves, if you want to do a personal reading, Information pertaining to that can be found. Be Until next time, bye-bye.